guest is a global leader in multimedia, processor, communication, and cloud technologies. He's the Senior Director of Marketing Communications with Imagination Technologies. David Harold, welcome back, David, uh, into tomorrow. How are you, sir? I'm great. It's good to see you again. It feels like CES now I'm seeing you. Yeah, it does it. A lot of folks, I guess, because our 21 years of covering CES uh, share that same experience, and it warms the cockles of my heart <laughs> to, to say that people say, it isn't CES until we chat, you Indeed. know, <laughs> and then you know you're at the right place. I, I actually don't know what we're doing until I've told you. Go, uh, it you, only oh, comes together about good. now. So we get an exclusive, and then the rest of the world knows, <laughs> I right? think so. I okay, think so. love it. Well, then that brings me to what kinds of cutting-edge solutions are you guys working on uh, and talking about here at CES? Well, I guess there's two big areas. There's the things that you can see and the things that you can't see. Ah, the things thus that the imagination part. Yeah, yeah, I, th <laughs> I think so. So, so the number one thing, um, you know, I feel anybody who's been following imagination for a while probably knows that we've done entertainment you know we've done games consoles with nintendo and sony and sega we've done tv streaming boxes tablets gaming consoles phones are plenty all of that and kind when of you stuff say you've done those things well, you, you've done well, kind of the bits of as part of the chips is that e exactly so there are um approaching nine billion devices in the world with our technology and which i'm sure your nice. your very smart uh, listeners have already put together means there's more than one for everybody on the planet yeah so you know we're, we're in all these kinds of things but th they've really focused on entertainment and to some extent communications and i think you know, what we're really excited about showing here at this show is how actually some of those technologies can start to, to deal with the next big challenges. Um, you know, we, we talk about the future. You know, in 2050, there's going to be nearly 10 billion people on this planet, uh -huh. and hopefully we'll have shipped products for every one of them as yeah, well. well. I'm sure. But yeah, got to think about marketing. <laughs> but, but you know what that means? It, it means food production has to go up. Yeah. It means we have to deal with, you know, agriculture and health and energy so much smarter. So we're using the Internet of Things to really start to put projects in place that aren't just for big corporate solutions but actually that you know anybody can do we're, we're working with farms in Portugal who are growing blueberries and who have put sensors that we designed in the field connected to our cloud software so that they can test you know how wet the soil is and what the humidity and temperature is and know when to irrigate and, and those, and those kinds not only of does things that then help the farmers but it helps us as consumers to enjoy better blueberries well we, we <laughs> want to keep them cheap and plentiful I think is the, is, is the <laughs> yeah. idea <laughs> but, you know, you can put this stuff in your garden. Yeah, but yeah there you go. Yeah. And I guess what, what that also contributes to is, is making conditions uh, applicable anywhere in the world to do these kinds of things. You know, maybe you can grow blueberries where they didn't grow before because now we have more control over how they grow. Yeah, if you have this kind of smart algorithms that we've put sitting in the cloud yeah. looking at the problem, actually you can be much more fine-grained in your solution. So it's not like these things could be sitting there for weeks and you don't even know that your harvest is dead. Yeah. Actually now, you know, the sensors are saying, okay, there's a problem here, you yeah. need to do something. Uh, some attention needs to be dealt, whether it's blueberries or whatever it is you're doing. The point is you need to be aware and sensors are doing that. It's part of that goofy name of IoT, the yes, Internet of Things. the Internet of Things. But if they're helping us, then we welcome IoT. Yeah, <laughs> I, th I think that makes all the difference. Sure. So that's the stuff you can't see. And then the things that you can see, well, we're, we're taking the high-end graphics technology, ray tracing that's been used to make movie special effects for, for decades now. And, you know, we, we've been promising for a while to get it down into the, the kind of technology where you could use it in a mobile device mm -hmm. or a console. And we've, we've got that now. So we're showing that here at CES this year. Excellent. A tiny chip with the same power consumption as a mobile phone chip, which can do ray tracing graphics so this is graphics which um, if you imagine you know usually computer graphics is a bit like drawing a cartoon mm -hmm. ray tracing is like taking a photo but in which you know the object that you're photographing never existed you're creating it from scratch wow. so it's super realistic and we we've, we finally got that technology cracked so we're, we're really excited about that that's going to be as disruptive as the technology that we did to bring 3d gaming into mobile phones which I guess is what most people know us for if they know us yeah there you go but that sounds like the kind of thing that we truly anticipate into tomorrow if you will yes. because it's bringing these really cool things to life. Oh, and uh, it's absolutely brilliant for, for virtual reality, for realism, mm -hmm. but also for augmented reality, yeah. which is, you know, if, if you're going to draw something on top of the real world, you want it to look really real. Mm -hmm. And so you need this kind of ray tracing technology. And I'll bet we can find out more at your site. 
Yes, I ah. certainly hope you would. It's <laughs> IMG Tech, IMGTEC.com. There you go. And we'll link you to IMGTech.com when you visit us at IntoTomorrow.com. We'll get you to David's site. You'll see what he and his team are up to as they uh, bring you further into tomorrow with their imagination technologies. Thanks, as always, for joining us here at CES. It's a huge pleasure, Dave. We're back with more from Las Vegas in our 21st year broadcasting from CES. We're legal. <laughs> We're now able to gamble and drink and do everything. The show is, at least. I want to see how that works in the casino. <laughs> Watch us be tossed out really fast. Into Tomorrow continues here on the Advanced Media Network. <laughs>